Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. Today we are going to fix Windows update problem. So if you're facing problem while updating Windows, you're getting, if you're stuck installing at 0%, 90%, 10%, unable to download, or Windows update is thinking to update but it's not doing anything. These three, four steps will take some time. At the end of the troubleshooting, you will be able to fix this problem on your own. So let's get started. So here in the search icon, type control. And you will get the best match, control panel. Now once the control panel is opened, at the top right corner, view by category. From here, select large icons. And I'll maximize it here. And here we need to select troubleshoot. You will get this window, programs, hardware sound, network and internet and system security so we will click on system security now the last option will be windows update resolve problems that prevents you from updating windows so this is a very first important step which we need to do here so i'll click on that and i'll click on next and it will start detecting problems now no matter what happens we need to do this first step we need to move to the second and then we need to move to the third step because all those steps are very important and it will fix your problem. Now it says you have to restart the computer and, they, and then try running Windows Update again. So we will just click on next and restart the computer and here we just need to press window and R or you can simply do a right click in the start icon. So once you get this run window here we need to type services Dot MC. Now select any of the application and press W. And here we are going to look for Windows Update. So I can see Windows Update right here and it says enable running manual. So we just need to do a right click, go to properties and from manual to make it automatic. And then click on apply and OK. Once this is done, do a right click again and click on restart. Now this uh, restart thing might take in your computer 5 minutes. For them it might take 6-7 minutes. Then don't leave this step. So here I can see it's taking almost a minute to do so. Once this is done we will close this window. And in the search icon we need to type CMD. That will open up the run command so here we just need to click on run as an administrator and we will and we will click on yes now we need to disable the windows update service and then we will remove the windows update software di distribution that's actually sometimes what happens if we have we have some corruption in the update folder so i'll tell you we are going to remove those folders that will not hamper anything so we just need to type here net space stop space w u a u s e r v that's it and we need to hit enter i'll repeat that it's n e t space stop space w u a u S -E -R -V. Now I can see Windows Update Service is stopping. The Windows Update Service was stopped successfully. Now we need to open the File Explorer and we need to go to this PC. And here we will find the C drive. Now as I said that we need to go to the Software Distribution folder where all the Windows Update files and folders get saved. So I'll go to Windows. So I have found the software distribution. So this is the location, C drive, Windows and then software distribution. Now on the desktop, create a folder. So we are going to cut those all these things and we will paste it to the desktop. So let's say if something happens, if, some, um, if there is some issues, then we can put it back there. So I'll just type anything like test and here I'll just can press Control A and I'll do a right click and I'll click on cut. 
and then I'll go to this test folder and I'll paste it right here uh, I'll select do this for all current items and I'll click on continue once you have copied and pasted successfully now we need to reactivate the Windows update service again so we will type NET space star uh, start space W U A U S E R B and I'll hit enter now I can see the request service has already been started and now we just need to restart the computer and try to update the windows why we the why we have this kind of problems in the computer always make sure that you do not install any kind of third-party apps which you do not know uh, don't run any script to make the computer faster so when we try too many things in the computer that's why the computer gets messed up so if you think that your windows is corrupted what you can do is you can run this command sfc space forward slash scan now so this is the command sfc space forward slash scan now and you can hit enter so it will begin the system scan and this procedure might take some time and once this is done you can restart the computer and see if your windows update is working fine or not for most of them it will work because we have refreshed the services we have restarted the services we have also changed windows update service from manual to automatic and the soft whatever the corrupted uh, update was there we have removed it so after doing all these things your windows update should work just fine now let's say if you still have issues you can let me know in the comment section and please be descriptive whatever the issue you have you can let me know it will be very good for me to identify the problem of the computer so when you type your issue please make sure that you describe what exactly is happening so you can let me know that I'll try my best to fix your problem and please hit the like and subscribe I'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day guys take care and guys I'll mention three more commands to repair the whole computer check health scan health and restore health now for that you just need to do just click on the search icon type cmd run as a administrator and then click on yes in the same manner just copy this command the first command and run i'll just paste it here and i'll hit it this is also a great thing to repair the whole computer now dism stands for deployment image servicing and management tool of microsoft so i hope this helps i'll see you in the next video goodbye yeah.